Hi, welcome to online tutorial videos from JCBR Labs. For more information, you can visit us at www.jcbrlabs.org. Uh, we also provide online training, help in technical assignments. We also do freelance projects based on data science, Python, machine learning, uh, embedded system, etc. So, if you have any such requirement, then you can let us know by contacting us through our website, which is www.jcbrlabs.org, or you can also mail us at info at jcbrlabs. Uh, dot org okay so uh, this is a project demonstration video in this uh, project demonstration video we are going to show uh, the project which we recently created how to optimize the pid controller uh, of a boost converter using ant colony optimization algorithm okay so if uh, if you need uh, this uh, project uh, source files, you can mail us at info at jcbrolabs.org. Okay, so we are going to uh, demonstrate ant colony optimization based uh, PID opti parameter optimization for boost converter. So let's first talk about the boost converter. So uh, what exactly boost converter is so we'll just talk about in a brief so boost converter is let's say you have a 20 volt input supply and at the output side across the load you want 50 volt constant okay irrespective of if there is a variation between this uh, input layer if input goes from 20 to 25 or it goes from 20 to 18 or 17 something like so within the range the output will remain constant at 50 volt okay so here you are applying a boost from 20 volt to you are getting up to 50 volt so that is why its name is boost converter and the structure of the boost converter uh, conventional boost converter is like this so we have a switch here and then there is a diode and then there is a capacitor uh, to rectify the repulse and then there is a load resistor and here it is the vn supply plus minus vn so you can think of like uh, uh, it is the inductor it is the diode and this is the switch and this is the capacitor and this is of course rl so uh, across rl you want the fixed uh, voltage right now uh, because we want it to be optimized or to maintain we want this boost convert to maintain the voltage across RL at fixed value. So obviously we need some kind of controller. So the value is uh, depends upon the uh, this switch PWM, the PWM which is applied at this switch. Okay. So what we do, we measure the voltage across here, right? So that measured voltage goes into the PID block. Here is the PID. Okay. Okay, let me correct it. It doesn't go directly there. So we will take in some uh, only positive one uh, because you can think of it is ground. So their measured value goes against uh, uh, compared against the reference value. So plus minus. So let's say uh, this is the V reference and V reference in our case it could be something any value, right? So the difference will go to the PID block. PID then uh, takes uh, uh, generate the duty cycle. So it is like a duty cycle generator. And then duty cycle it generates the PWM which ultimately applies to the switch. Okay. So this is the complete uh, uh, I should say the closed loop structure of uh, closed loop boost converter closed loop structure of the boost converter okay now you know the pid uh, transfer function is given by this c of s equals to kp plus ki by s plus kd into s so generally uh, sometimes if let's say kd value is zero with the same pid controller become the uh, pi controller okay so now the output of this PID controller or this boost converter is uh, very accurate and it highly depends on the values of this KP 
ki and kd so if these values are correct only then we will get the better output so we have to tune these values okay so these values has to be tuned so there are several algorithms through which you can uh, tune the parameters of this pid controller so in this video we will be demonstrating it with the help of the ant colony optimization algorithm okay now coming to the model which we have created okay so let's go to the model now here so here is the model which we have created so because it is a project video so we are not going to show you the values of uh, different values of the model so here uh, is the uh, boost converter and here we have applied the pid controller right and uh, in this uh, PID controller, we are taking the reference value at 30. So the input voltage is 10 volt and uh, reference value is the 30 volt. So we want uh, uh, this boost converter to give the output uh, which remain constant at the 30 volt. Okay. Now coming to the optimization algorithm. So here we have created our uh, ant colony optimization code. Right. So again, we won't be able to show you the entire code so let's run it because it is just the project demonstration video so let's run it as soon as you run it if everything goes fine uh, the, you will find this model keeps on running uh, for different different values okay because the optimization generates different values of kp and ki okay and corresponding to that you start getting the output here okay so, so here's the scope window and this red color shows the output and this blue line uh, black line showing the um, uh, showing the uh, reference value so <coughs> this black line showing the reference value so it is taking some time to reach there so let's see till because uh, it takes some time depending on the number of iterations uh, you have used and number of parameters you have used uh, in your model so depending on that it takes some time to get optimized okay so it will run much faster if we just close this uh, scope window otherwise it take lots of time so let it run okay uh, we will uh, wait for some duration let's see here is our code code is running so code is running perfectly fine because we are not seeing anything in the command window as of now so in this case uh, uh, i think 50 pop population size was taken as 100 and near about 10 iterations which uh, we were using uh, for this optimization algorithm so we will get some output at this command window once uh, uh, one complete iteration is done for all the population size so in the meantime we can only see uh, so generally there is a question from the students like uh, how much uh, how much time will the optimization take place so that is very easy to calculate for example uh, if you run the model in a standalone condition so that means you are running uh, you are simply running the model with some value random values of kp and ki and if it takes let's say one second duration to run okay now if you are running through the optimization and you have 50 population size and 10 iteration so uh, so you can simply count like it will run for uh, that means this model will run total times 10 into 50 plus 50 that means iteration multiplied by population size plus population size so it will run 550 times if you have 50 population size and 10 iteration so as i said uh, if uh, your model is running for one second in single iteration so for full iteration it will be running for 550 uh, it will be taking 550 seconds and based on that you can uh, compute like uh, how much uh, time uh, will it take okay so let's see if we got some change in the output window because generally it takes some times to get changed okay so 
as you can see it is taking uh, once uh, the uh, process the command it takes some time so what it is constantly running let's wait it out <clears throat> to compute the values of this l and c of this boost converter is very important and uh, the entire structure of this boost converter depends on the values of this inductor and the capacitance right so if you somehow uh, put some wrong values for your application then it may be possible that even optimization will not be able to give you the correct results okay so let's uh, okay we have got some output here it is it has okay iteration 2 some iteration has run and it is showing the figure let's see if we can open this yeah there it is so now you are seeing uh, the it is trying to find the suitable values of kp and ki so that it uh, the output which is shown by this red curve uh, reaches to that hurdle okay so you can see uh, optimization is in progress okay so i hope this is for the demonstration let's close it this optimization and run the direct code we have run for you so let's press ctrl c okay so let's close this window okay so we uh, have one optimized model and here it is so we have put the values uh, obtained from the optimization directly into this pi controller okay now if we run it you will get it it is nicely reaching to the 30. okay so that is the uh, final uh, our demonstration of this video that uh, the project is working fine and if you want the files of this project uh, you can mail us at uh, info at the red jcbrolabs.org or you can also contact us through uh, our website which is www.jcbrolabs.org so i hope it is it was an interesting video for you and you will contact us soon so finally we also provide online training help in technical assignments we also do freelance projects based on data science python machine learning etc so if you have any such requirement then you can contact us through our website which is www.jcbrolabs.org or you can also mail us at info at the rate jcbrolabs.org so that's it for this video thank you